We're here with Neil Macon, our favorite automotive curmudgeon, uh, editor of Skin Knuckles magazine. Now, he always has kind of ways to fix old stuff using old technology. We've got some new stuff here today. That's a new got? stuff. The older cars have something the new cars today don't have called carburetors. Right. Carburetors need parts. Right. They constantly break down. They constantly need repair and rebuilding. One of the integral parts of a carburetor is the float valve. Right. Little valve that goes up and down and shuts off the flow of fuel when right. it's not necessary. Right. The float floats in the gas, and when the gas gets high, the needle comes up and shuts off the flow of fuel. Exactly. Ho it hopefully shuts off the gas. Yeah, the same way a toilet works, really. You take the back of a toilet off. It's kind of basically the basically same Basically the idea. same yeah. principle, yeah. yeah. But in the past 10 years or so, with carburetors being phased out, mm. A lot of companies have gone out of the business, out of the carburetor repair business, mm -hmm. carburetor parts business. And a lot of the parts that we relied on as quality parts in the past are now coming out of the Orient. Right, right. This is the old fashioned type. The tapered needle and the seat. And it fits in there and it goes up and down and shuts off the valve. Now the problem with that is a little bit of dirt or grime or any kind of grease or anything could jam the seat either open or closed. Absolutely. That's why and on old British carburetors on motorcycles, sometimes you tap on the float bowl oh, to loosen the... It, it frees it up. It frees it up. The needle you have in your hand is made out of steel. Mm -hmm. And as the flu, a fuel flows, that little needle rotates. And as it rotates, it develops a magnetism. Right. Any metal particles that might be in the gasoline are attracted by the metal. And that, too, is going to prevent it from right. sealing. But with as many... Well, virtually all of the needle valves being made in the Orient as are, there are three major problems that are occurring. Number one, the little rubber tip yeah. is not always properly centered in line with the needle. Right. And if it's offset, it will never seat properly. That's one problem. Right. The second problem is that the rubber tip, be it Viton or a fluorocarbon or whatever, they used to be made by a medical supply company here in the States, very precision. Now the quality control has dropped yeah, a little bit yeah. and the, they're not a perfect pyramid. They're often asymmetrical. And right. again, they will not seal. Right, right. The third problem, making a seat is a very, very delicate process. It's a precision process. And since you've got cutaways, there are sharp edges. There's a, there's a process known as staking which actually burnishes that sharp edge. Sort of like lapping it in? Yes, yeah. it's, it's, uh, it puts a radius right. on the sharp edges. So instead of having a sharp corner, you have a curve. Right. That's not always being done properly. And then that sharp edge gets to that, met that rubber tip and just chews it away. OK, so what we're so, saying is most of this farm-made stuff is crap. So we need something to fix I'm that. I'm glad you said that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, let's face it, it is because, you know, to a lot of people new to the hobby, cheaper is better. Or, oh, wow, the needle is only so much over here when the, this one is so, and they don't realize, really. Well, there's a company, you get what you pay for. there's a company in Florida, Daytona Parts, mm -hmm. and they specialize, that's all they do is carburetors. Right. They build carburetors, they repair carburetors, they have kits for carburetors, they have, they make the valves. Right, right. now, just a little better than half of their carburetors come with a new valve. Yeah, and this they, is the new valve here. That's a new it? valve. Rather than the tapered seat, it's an aluminum plunger, right. which is what you have in your left hand, right. non-magnetic, and that little rubber tip on there actually floats. It's free. It can rotate right. and it can tip. Right. It fits an inverted flare in the fitting right. so that no matter how it goes up, it will seat and it will seat positively okay. in any position. Now, any carburetor you have, I've got a Holley or a Card or whatever, I can call Daytona and they will send me the replacement. Well, you can generally, if, if you have to open up the carburetor, you're going to need a real rebuilding kit. Right, right. Uh, just changing the needle valve really isn't enough. Well, I, well, I mean, I guess they make a whole, yeah. They make the entire kit. They okay. have all of the little bits and pieces and O rings and gaskets and needles and springs. All of the gaskets, these are made to, to fit a variety of different right. carburetors. Yeah, this one actually comes with two different needles and seats. Oh, cool. cool. Two different lengths, yeah. accelerator pump, but all of the kits are made specifically for a type of carburetor. Right, okay, so yeah, all the major ones. 
And it says, uh, there you go, ethanol resistant. That's, it's all fluorocarbon. That's what you want to look for. Right. That's what Absolutely. Yeah. It's not going to rot. Yeah. Now, there's another advantage to this valve. Yeah. The old tapered valve had to have a long drop to clear the hole completely to get full fuel, mm -hmm. fuel flow. So at a high acceleration, this had to drop all the way down, which meant the float had to drop much lower. Right. Oh, I see, yeah. In the new valve, you don't need as much of a drop, just a little bit of a drop, and it opens up full okay. to get full fuel flow. Very cool. And this is Daytona Parts out of Florida. Okay, let's put that website up there, Daytona Parts out of Florida. If you need a carburetor rebuild kit, and let's face it, you're not really going to, you might as well go modern and update your carburetor. Absolutely. And, yeah, I mean, if these gaskets are all ethanol resistant, boy, that's a lifesaver. It, yeah. it sure is. Well, we will check them out. Thank you, Daytona Parts. Thank, Thank you, Neil. Thank you, Jake. Mm-hmm. <laughs>